Hello, I am Barbara Way, and I am going to show you how to create this elevator that you see before you here. To operate it, you simply go into the carriage, press the button, the doors will close, and you will start going up. And at the top, you can just as easily go down. This elevator does only work between two floors, unlike some multi-story elevator designs. But it is relatively compact, although it does require quite a few resources, most notably slime blocks, so you probably will need a slime farm if you want to attempt to build this in survival. And if you're at the bottom and your elevator's at the top, or if you're at the top and your elevator's at the bottom, you can simply press the button, and the elevator will come down, stop, and then you can enter it and press the button again to go up. So to build this thing, you're going to start by having your platform. You need at least three blocks below it. Bum, bum, bum. I have an extra block down here just so I can place the things on colored blocks. You don't have to do that. You can use whatever block you want to build this elevator if you attempt to build it yourself. Yeah, so let's get started on building it. I'm, I'm going to start with the gray bit. Of course, you could make this whatever color you want. I'm just making it gray because personal personal preference. It's just the color I chose. And so, I'm going to have your concrete down here. And you want to put two repeaters down here, running out of the blocks that the redstone dust is on, and you want them both set to four ticks. And then you're going to have eight blocks down here, all with redstone dust on them, and the repeaters will run into two blocks here, so that will power that. So when moving on to the doors, what we want to do, or we want to do, I'm the one doing it right now, what you want to do is you want to have the repeater coming from the sides, and you just need one tick of delay, and you want them going up, then up again, then coming back on themselves, like so. And you want this area just covered in dust, except for a repeater there. And then on the other side, you want to do things slightly differently, where you have the same general design, but you want to have the repeater, uh, you want to have it here instead of next to the where the pistons are going to be, and we might as well place those in now. And for the door, I'm using locks of iron because they look most like elevator doors. You can use whatever block you feel like using. And we're also going to need some kind of a movable block. I'm going to use furnaces because they're easy to get in survival mode. And just under this block, you want a torch and a redstone dust and your furnace. Then you want a repeater and a torch. And same idea on the other side. Dust. Upper. Dust. When I said dust, it was a torch. Repeater. All good stuff. So this means that while the elevator is not here, then the doors will always be closed. The elevator can't actually move unless the doors are closed because otherwise the slime blocks would stick to the doors. And speaking of the elevator, we might as well install that now. For that we need some slime blocks and some observers and some sticky pistons and trapdoors. I would recommend using dark oak, birch, or spruce trapdoors because you can't see through them and also some materials to make the carriage itself out of for the flooring. Granite looks good, but you can use whatever you feel like using. I'm just going to want the floors and the ceiling. And you want five slime blocks on each side like that. You're going to want to place your trap doors. Oops. Do not want to get rid of that. Trapdoors can be placed up top or bottom, doesn't matter because they're going to be folded. And then you want your observer and the piston. 
happening here on the other side you want of course your observer and piston and two more slime blocks here similarly observer piston slime block slime block and because the elevator is here the doors are going to be open you also want some more blocks here and for the roof I would recommend using glowstone or sea lanterns of course you can make the back of the shaft out of that alternatively but if you don't do that or you don't have a glass front or anything like that then your elevator may be quite dark on the inside while it's going up and down so we're gonna save the shaft for last but next we're going to build the upper bit of the elevator so yeah I'm going to see you at the top. I'm at the top now, and we can start working on we can start working on the next bit of the elevator. You want to make sure all your things are aligned so the doors are going to be where the doors are, and I'm going to install those first. And voila. And voila. And I just want some more iron blocks, gonna just grab those from the bottom and there we go so next we're gonna want some redstone dust all over this and some redstone dust over here and then we're gonna want our buttons here and here and we're gonna also want some uh, buttons on the bottom of this too and these are gonna be what activates it Unlike on the bottom, where we have the buttons on the bottom, here they're going to be on the roof, because that's, that's how it works. We're going to have a block right here, which connects to some more blocks here with repeaters with no delay, some redstone dust, sticky pistons, blocks, and more repeaters. And what this allows it to do is this is going to turn this pulse from the button which is 10 ticks into a 1 tick pulse and that will allow things to not get stuck to the flying machine then we're going to want some blocks up here and some blocks down here got some redstone dust blocks coming off from any side here and just going down to the not the ground but this part right here and we'll have some repeaters here with two ticks repeaters here with two ticks and next we're going to need some regular non-sticky pistons up like this and up like this next we're going to want to have some observers and some slabs and we're gonna want them right here we're gonna want slab observer facing downwards and redstone dust on top of both I find that it's easy to forget to put the redstone dust on top of the observer that led me to have a lot of troubles with this earlier so make sure you do that you're gonna want the same setup on the other side observer and slab or slab and observer if you like putting it in that order Anyway, I got blocks below this. We have buttons right here, and also right here, redstone dust. And this is where we're gonna have our pistons that launch the whole thing. Okay, here's where it starts getting a little bit complicated. Well, a little bit more complicated. It already was a bit complicated. Now it's gonna get a bit more complicated. So we're gonna want our Furnaces right there, and furnaces right there. We're gonna have blocks next to the buttons, and let's see, pink. And on top of those blocks, we're gonna want our redstone torches and redstone repeaters set to one tick. Then on the other side, we're gonna want our hoppers so they don't bud power this piston. And similarly, a hopper over here. Hoppers have the unique ability that they are non-solid blocks. They won't power pistons, but they're also immovable, so they don't get moved by slime blocks. 
that makes them great for not or makes them great for this kind of tight area. Then we're gonna want some blocks up right here with a slab. A block up here with another slab. And then redstone test on both these with a redstone torch over here. And I need to color code this because some people might get mad at me if I don't. That's already proper, but whatever. Torch. Done. Okay, so we aren't actually done, but we're done with that one thing there we want two L shapes right here in this formation so repeater running into the pistons and redstone dust here and then another repeater that is coming from this bit over here and we want the same thing mirrored on the other side it's a very symmetrical design. So people who like things to be all symmetrical and lined up, you should you should really build this. And we have the door circuits working. Okay. Now all we need is the circuits to to uh, get the elevator back up to you if you're on the bottom or the top, back down to you. Or whatever. You know what I mean? And those just happen to be the most complicated ones. And for those, we're going to get some special new colors, yellow and orange. Which, in some cultures, are actually the same color. Like, you know, different colors have different color, or different cultures have different color groups. So, you know, people in Russia treat light blue as a completely different concept from blue. And in some cultures, there are only three color main colors, which are like red, black, and white. It's it's complicated. So we'll start back at the bottom, and we just need coming out like six blocks coming out here, and then we want another three blocks here. And we just want a repeater right there so this doesn't interfere with this. And the redstone dust along the rats. And then we want four blocks with spaces in between. With redstone torches on top of them. And then we want a sticky piston with four slime blocks on top and redstone block. Now, if you're building this higher than this, so you basically want this redstone block to be one block or two blocks spaced between the redstone block and the blue part. If there's more space, you can of course have more slime blocks in between. If you have more than 11 slime blocks, then you're going to need an extra piston with an extra redstone block and your setup might look something like uh, this. But we don't need that. In fact, we can't even have that. Oh yeah, and you can't have you can't have a setup like this. But this, otherwise, when the red the piston is powered, it could ever be unpowered. I need at least one slime block between. So off from that tangent, we want a furnace or another immovable object it doesn't have to be immovable just non-slippery so you can use terracotta here and we're gonna want redstone torch block another redstone torch another block with redstone dust on top and go up two more blocks go up again another three blocks I don't know what you're thinking fancy and we want repeater here and redstone dust and that's it for the orange bit. And now we want the yellow bit. Or whatever color you choose bit. And this one gets a little bit complicated and wiggly. I don't think that's the right word. But I don't care. So you want to come down here. And you want to come down here three 
more time. So you have four blocks like a staircase. Five more blocks here for a total of six blocks. And a repeater set to two ticks right there. And then you want to get yourself a regular non-sticky piston to face this way. And a sticky piston down here. Then you only need three redstone block or slime blocks. So basically, that's two. Can't count. You want one fewer slime blocks than you have over here. Then you want two blocks like this. And you want this block to come down here. And then wiggle its way all the way around here. The repeater with zero delay on it. And it'll end up looking something like this. After you do that, you want to come off here, have a block here, and then go down one, and then have ten blocks here. I placed nine because you already have one there, so a total of ten. And here, on the fourth block, you want a redstone torch off the side. And you basically just want to connect this redstone torch. You basically just want to connect this redstone torch up to the rest of the thing in the middle. Block here, redstone torch. Block here. Down like this. Repeater. Block. Block. And block. That shouldn't be powered by this torch. And you just need another redstone dust there, and that's almost it. One more bit to go. We're in the home stretch now. All we need here is a block here, a block here, a block here, sorry, a block here, not there. And bump, that's it. This should work now. Step in, press the button. Doors are closed. Start going up. Now, there is a bit of a lighting glitch here that when these lights close to the move, it does cause a bit of a weirdness. But that can be solved by not using smooth lighting or just not caring. But if I were to hop into a real elevator and it looked like this, I would be kind of scared. So, we're going to want some shafts. I'm going to use cut stance, so it actually I'm not because it looks worse after the texture update. I'm going to use a lock that looks better, like, uh, hmm. I quite like the new sand textures. Of course, sand is a bit hard to work with because it follows the rules of gravity, but I'm making this work. Of course, if I did pop into a real elevator, I would sure hope it's not made of sand. I will use sandstone for the other side. So, if you want to have glass on this part, then obviously you're going to want to have a block here. If you want to have a block here, then the block you're going to want to choose is going to be a block that is immovable. Or sorry, not immovable, just that won't stick to the slime blocks. I would suggest the new barrels because they look quite good and you just place them all along up here if you have glass here or if you just want to have barrels there fine. could be a great way to access your storage I guess you can use the elevator if you get rid of the glass of course then it would be a bit scary and here we go so you hop in you know, wait for it to come to us We can go up. And we can go back down. Perfect, beautiful elevator. That's all I have for today. I hope you come back. If you enjoyed this video, 
you should consider subscribing because there's more enjoyable content to be had in the future. And if you don't usually subscribe to people, then subscribe anyways because I want you to subscribe to me because I like having subscribers and that'd be cool. Bye.